Attack of the Titan, Leviathan Horde, for that Delorean brother while we're ripping the cord. It's the dude they call Shadro, Hieroglyphs, and all that. So Joskar spends the entirety of his turn just inching forward, moving that HVT and that Scylla closer to that central elevator. With loss of lieutenant, he had to spend command tokens to convert his irregular orders. The fire team of uh, Keisotsu Butai start moving towards that button room in hopes that they will be able to open the elevator doors this turn. Um, they get into that room and uh, with a willpower bonus, open all the elevator doors. The Oiroi moves around the elevator, makes his two discover rolls against Scylla, spends more orders, and fires his HMG, destroying Scylla on the second turn. All right, so Jay, things have gone better than planned with the almost complete decimation of the Aleph forces, which are the only things that are actually affecting the outcome of this battle, being a Myrmidon with a Spitfire and a Soraketai with, I think this one's armed with a boarding shotgun. So what do you think of your chances of winning this game so far? Uh, I think his only chance to draw is to get both of his people killed, uh, in which case the game ends. So I'll probably kill one of them and then not declare AROs against the other one. Uh, in which case, my either if, if my Oyoroi survives, I, I just eject as planned. If not, I can run with my full unit of um, uh, linked, uh, what do you call this, Kisotsus to, to take that objective. I'm already leading by one point and I have the HVT. So, uh, you know, I, I, I was surprised with his second turn. I would have played it more aggressively than that. He, he just camped near the elevator in hopes that I open the, the door, so I don't know why he did that. Yeah, but it's, it's basically just good looks that's going for me right now in the superior play. Are you at all worried that, that he might pull off a, uh, a sneaky draw maneuver by having his guys killed inadvertently? We do know that you still have some koalas that are forced to activate when, uh, when opponents are within their zone of control. Uh, definitely, uh, but he has three orders left, including his lieutenant order. So my thing is just I'm, I'm not going to shoot the Myrmidon. That guy doesn't have a chance of getting within eight, I think, unless he spends all the orders there, in which case the other guy's protected. So if uh, if that Tawikatai peeps out, I can shoot it just to reduce his um, his orders and just so he doesn't know that I know what he's planning. And um, but if it's the Myrmidon, I just let it go. So that was a sneaky last uh, activation I did. It, it's uh, putting it on suppression. So now I can only declare idle, I think, and, uh, and shoot, which is fine, right? So. All right, so things might look, are looking to be in the bag for, for J's JSA. So uh, best of luck to you. Yeah, Jocks, yeah. seems like Aleph will be very angry right now. If Achilles was watching from his tactical command, he'd probably would have already cut the command console in half. But there are still two heroes left. The last two heroes, you have one Myrmidon and one line troop right there. So what are your plans now for this round? He has control of the center of the table with a big armored suit there. He is near the civilian, he can exit, so what do you intend to do? Well, he can't table me, because if he tables me, the game ends. Yes, that is true. So, I have to, I, I guess the only way is to rush the Oyeroi, get into ARO position, and try to keep him away from the elevator. Uh, it's like, go big or go home right now. So, we'll see. The, so, last, the, the last plan didn't work, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. His strategy did not work, so he's now yeah. banking on a game technicality of uh, <laughs> charging and making his men survive. You see, in this game, uh, yes, it is in the rules that if everyone dies, the game ends. And the game should end with Jay having figures inside, inside the, elevator. the elevator. 
So he's going to use that technicality. It is a, a strategy. It is. It, it is, is a strategy. So I'm trying to imagine how it works flavor wise. But I'll think about that. Blaze later. of glory. Going down in, in the blaze of glory is the plan. And we will see. I, I'm curious how Jay will react to such a bold maneuver. <laughs> so with two models left, Joskar tries to get me to shoot at those stupid models of his attempting to end the game in a draw. But of course, I'm not stupid and uh, Oyeroy just keeps dodging away from that advancing Tariketai. On his last activation, we finally decide to shoot at that Myrmidon with impunity. A crazy koala goes crazy, activates and destroys that Myrmidon. Aleph ending their last turn with zero points. Crazy last turn. I decide to be generous to Joskar and not table him this one time. So I eject the Oyeroy pilot into that elevator, ending the game, JSA 9 points, Aleph 0. JSA wins, Aleph can suck eggs. Right, so Jay, that was a decisive victory for you. Uh, what can you say about this particular scenario? Well, yeah, it was a sneaky way to win, but it's a way to win. So I think that was crucial. He didn't anticipate that I could eject out of that man tag and uh, score eight points. Um, as I predicted, he wanted me to kill all his units before uh, entering the elevator so that the game ends in a draw, which of course I just baited him with a, uh, with a declaration of a suppressive fire. So he think I would shoot and then dodged and dodged. Uh, finally killing his one model just before I started my own activations. Right, so things went according to plan for uh, the Japanese Sectoral Army. Yeah, yes and no. Uh, I was hoping Yojimbo would play a role just by creating cover, um, as well as I, I wanted to represent that I had a hidden model by deploying everything and then saying that I have one model left to deploy at the start of the game. I don't think he bit it, so I, I don't think he. I think he expected that I didn't have a, a hidden model anyway, and so that part didn't work. Okay. Jessica, what, what can you say about uh, your performance in this match? Well, uh, there were tactical errors. Again, I, when I made the list, I didn't expect the Oyeroy. To, I didn't expect it. Uh, it was at the back of my head. Uh, you but didn't expect that big thing to crush you? <laughs> no, no, I didn't expect that Jay would be fielding an Oyeroy. <laughs> so I didn't expect it. Um, it was at the back of my head, so I said, okay, I, I have to make sure I pack at least one or two AP weapons. So I said, okay, fine, the submachine guns might work, uh, given uh, how they've brought down tags before. Uh, that doesn't always happen. That's that doesn't a, always a, happen. a lucky roll. Yeah. That was damn stupid jungle luck. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's there. I was hoping that uh, with enough shots, I can bring it down. Uh, it's a 50-50 roll against submachine guns, so that, that's fine. Uh, but uh, there were a few uh, tactical errors, particularly in the, in the second turn. Uh, it's, it's when I actually played uncharacteristically. I should have just gone and just like went gun blazing, guns blazing. But instead, I tried to uh, play a, a sneaker um, tactic by hiding behind the civilian. Um, I must have remembered uh, uh, an older rule for it. But but it's fine. Again, it, again, my, I, I always say that uh, part of uh, part of the game is remembering rules. And if you forget a rule, that's your fault. So. You know that's that's on me, uh, but yeah, it it was a uh, it was interesting trying to climb out of the the hole the Oyeroy has uh, put me in. Um, I still am not sure how to crack, uh, literally crack through its armor, um, but it's an interesting problem. It's what makes the game fun. You know, I try to figure out what to do. 
Right, uh, Mr. Zablan, uh, our very own terror, John Zablan. <laughs> uh, do you think, <laughs> do you think that uh, Joscar should have uh, played with his clutch model Achilles in this particular match? Actually, on the onset, I gave that suggestion that he should play with his uh, golden boy model. Well, because he, he, he used that model a lot during Flame Strike, so he knows what it can do. Yeah. Okay. And the, also I, died twice to me, so that's. Uh, <laughs> Achilles died in every game I played except one. So the track record isn't too good for uh, for my golden boy. Well, it, well, it could have worked for him because he had uh, initiative. Uh, having uh, initiative means he normally at the start can dictate the pace of the game. But th this is a gunfight game with bullets flying everywhere. Things die. Okay, things here die. It uh, just depends on, on how you adjust to what happens uh, in-game. That's why it's, it is indeed a tactical game. Uh, so that is it there. Well, Aleph lost because it, it deserves to lose. <laughs> and there you have it from our players. <laughs> uh, J.S. Taris, Joskar, how do you pronounce your last name? Malakaman. Malakaman and of course our very own John Terror Zablan. <laughs> Alright, so uh, any anything you want to say to our audiences before we wrap the show up? Yeah, so uh, welcome to War Jeepney. You'll see more of these uh, battle reports type of uh, videos here and um, hopefully I won't play against someone as weak as Joskar next time. Uh, I'm sorry for crushing his hopes and his dreams. I know he really needed desperately to win to, um, you know, to get a little of his self-esteem back, I think. So it, it's, it's all in, in good fun, though. So uh, welcome to our jeepney. And uh, I'm Manu Guard on uh, Flame Strike. Uh, it was a pleasure doing this battle report. Yeah. So I'd like to add something. This is our first video. So <laughs> if you have any suggestions uh, how, how we did it, uh, uh, please let us know. We're just we're doing this out of fun and out to, to help the community grow. So we're tired, it's, it's, it's past 12. We've been working since the morning and we're, we're doing this, uh, well, of course, to entertain you guys. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, he lost. <laughs> I lost. It's fun, it's a fun game. It's, um, uh, it's the most fun I've had losing, <laughs> particularly because it's the Oyori again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like follow us, like our videos, uh, leave a comment below uh, for your suggestions. Uh, you know, what, did, what mistakes did I make? Uh, things like that. What mistakes did I make? <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, welcome to our Jeepney, guys. All right. Uh, that's it for our Infinity segment of this uh, this evening, and, and I'm Ayo, and, we, and on behalf of the War GP crew, I would like to uh, thank everyone for watching our video and subscribe for more War GP content. See I'll be the king and a drop at a dime and a drop at a dime and I'm making a mind. Pennies for thoughts and I'm bringing a change. Your chapter was done and I'm flipping the.